Okay. Hi guys, so I'm Michael and I'm Chris too. <laughs> yeah. We're both wearing Hawaiian shirts because we have Aloha Fridays. But this is banana. Look at it. Can you see it? It's like Yeah, you can. Yeah. It's so cute. It's Look Aloha it's ish. I also have Sorry, sorry, excuse the Anyways, okay. <laughs> Alright, so um we're gonna ask some interview questions. Um one of which was actually posted online on my YouTube channel. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna go through. There was also another one uh, posted by my girlfriend. She asked me why dentistry. Tell me about yourself. But that's probably something we can do on a separate. Like that. That would like. Yeah, that would be a long video. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna go through. Um, some of these questions actually come from the SDN website. Um, we're looking under the what's the most difficult question. It's where dental students after their interview. They go online, they post whatever interview question mm -hmm. they remember. So we're gonna try to answer as many of these uh, before we have to head off to class. So first one, I'm gonna ask, do you wanna just alternate? Yeah, we can just alternate. Okay. So first one, uh, what were some questions you guys asked your interviewers when asked, do you have any questions for us? Well, for me, one of the things that I was looking for um, when I was first entering dental school was I wanted to know if there were specialty programs that a lot of their students applied to and would be able to get into. Um, I knew that Western doesn't have specialty programs, so that's one of the questions that you want to ask because for me, specialty, I want to have that as an option. I don't know for sure if I want to do it yet. So you want to find out a lot more information that is about the school that you can't find online. And you want to make sure that these questions are actually catering to what you want to do and not just like, oh, I just want to ask a question to, you know, show that I'm interested. Like, you you should actually ask a question that you really want to find out the answer to. More so like, don't ask a question because, just for the sake of asking the question. Yeah. Yeah, which I hear from a lot of interviewers is a for sure way to get you kind of mm -hmm. knocked off their list because you're, you're wasting their time, right? Exactly. It, like, Bluntly said, there you're you're kind of wasting yeah. our time. So really prepare beforehand. Um, think of things bef uh, think of things that are pertinent to that school that you're applying to. I know I asked about mission trips. I actually didn't find any information on mission trips online, but there there's a lot of information online. I just didn't look deep enough. But yeah, either way, I still asked about uh, mission trips that Western U does, and apparently there are a couple that you know the the dental student. Um, where I was happy to talk about. So, uh, kind of backing up, at Western U, it's a, did you have a faculty and a student? Yeah, I had a faculty and a student from my yeah. as well. Same, yeah, so, um, usually have uh, a faculty and a student, and I know one other student here, I talked to her about this, this type of question, you know, what did you ask at the end of the question? And I guess she kept on alternating between the student and the faculty, and ask them questions that were pertinent to them, whether it be like, what's your experiences with clinic? How's clinic? What, what does the clinic look like? And what, you know? Yeah, and like kind of going off of that, it's like, so you have the faculty and you have the student. And of course, like from the faculty's perspective, you can ask questions that are more geared towards the program itself. But when you're asking the student, you can ask more casual questions like, what's the social life like? Or like, how is your class, you know? Cause that, for a, a class at Western, where our class is only 69, mm -hmm. 70? 70 students. Yeah, 70, 70 students. students. Like, you wanna know what's the culture like with the class usually, like, is everyone close? Um, what do you guys usually do? Like what's around here, you know, so you want to find that out and you can ask that if one of your interviewers is a student So that's really nice that we had both of those opportunities during the interview. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think it was a little more casual that way too because yeah. um, having a, stu a fellow student there uh, Kind of it eases things up for you. Yeah, so, yeah definitely and and my student in, in my interview was really advocating for you know how much Pre-dental knowledge I had. Yeah. It, it was it was a nice experience overall. Did you, did you have you seen your interview since? No, I haven't. I haven't I seen haven't, mine yeah. either. Yeah, because they're fourth years. Yeah, 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 yeah. So hopefully one day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and um, you want to ask me this question? Okay. So this one is how I cope with something difficult that happened earlier in my life. Hmm. In parentheses, sick brother. So I think this question is mostly like saying, uh, uh, 
the person probably got asked, how have you coped with something difficult that happened earlier in your life? And the, this person happened to speak about, about his sick brother. Um, I actually, I got this question in, in my interview. Um, they asked me, how have you um, coped with something difficult earlier in your life? And I brought up a coworker that I didn't really get along with. And to me, that was difficult. It's not as like heavy as a sick brother, but um, I talked about my coworker and how we didn't get along and how I dealt that. And really, what I said was that first off, I didn't tell any of other any other coworkers about my feelings towards this one coworker. Let's just name her. What, what's a good name? Sandra. <laughs> just a random. So I didn't tell any of my other coworkers about how uh, I was feeling about Sandra. And that was to make sure that no drama gets around in the clinic and to kind of keep my feelings to myself. But I also did express it to the head dentist at that clinic. Um, reason being is I knew he would be a good middle ground to kind of bring us together and explain why I was feeling certain ways to, towards Sandra. So what ultimately ended up happening was after clinic one day, the head doctor asked me to come into um, his office with Sandra and we just laid it all out. We lay, laid it all out there and what, what ended up happening was that Sandra was actually having troubles at home and it, particularly with her husband and she was just lashing out at the nearest male figure oh. in that clinic. So it wasn't really directed towards me and she was just um, lash, I was the only male clinic in the clinic, uh, a male assistant By in the clinic too. Yeah. Basically. Yeah, so she just kind of kind of wrote me off as every other male and uh, was kind of acting out towards me. And in the end, um, I explained to the faculty member that we ended that conversation with me saying, look, Sandra, I love you. I really love you. You're a part of this clinic and I, I just want to work well with you and I hope you don't feel kind of betrayed by us coming together um, and me speaking to the head dentist about you. And she, she didn't, she totally, you know, if you're a professional, everyone understands yeah. on a professional level why certain things happen. So yeah, not as little, not as heavy as a sick brother, but that's how yeah. I answered that question. Yeah. yeah, I wasn't asked this question, but I'm pretty sure the reason why they're asking this is because they want to, they want to see that you've gone through a struggle and when you go through a struggle, they want to see, okay, what happened after? How did you actually resolve this issue? You know, did you do it in a professional, very logical, rational manner? Or was it handled differently? And they want to see what your thought process is like. Because that kind of tells them a lot about how you address certain issues. And just something as simple as that, um, you encounter that as a dental student. You, you encounter so many issues throughout dental school. So they want to see, will you be able to kind of get through this on your own? Would you have that rationale, that thought process necessary to get through this itch issue if you happen to encounter it throughout dental school? Yeah. yeah. And one of the biggest things that Western U emphasizes here is professionalism. Mm -hmm. That's why, fortunately, we don't get to wear scrubs and we yeah. always have to dress up. But we have fun with it. We have bow tie Tuesdays. Yeah. And Today's Hawaiian Hawa Friday. Yeah, Hawaiian Friday. I, I just happen to wear a bow tie every yeah. single day because I'm a nerd. And yeah. we actually look really good on campus because we're probably the we only do. college that dresses up yeah. every day. Yeah. So we take pride in that. You can definitely spot out a dental student, whether yeah. it's like a first or fourth year. Yeah. Uh, first through fourth year. Yeah. yeah. Um, next question. Um, you asked me, so I'll, I'll ask you. Um, do, do we want to do this one? Uh, what would you bring to Western U that would be helpful to this? to the school in class. And I think this this question actually is asked throughout all dental schools. Like they ask yeah. you, what could you bring to our class? Mm -hmm. What's so special about you that you would be helpful to our school in class? Yeah. Yeah. I definitely got this question during my interview and I was like, man, how am I gonna make myself stand out from this? Because it's such a common question mm -hmm. and like everyone brings something to the table. Mm -hmm. So for me, I answered it honestly and it's because I know myself very well so what I know that I could do best is I can help people and I know that's very generic mm -hmm. but like I usually try to understand as much as I can and I try to help people in any way possible um, I'm 
So what I told, Dr. Hamilton interviewed me at Western and when she asked me this question, I gave her the example. Um, you know, like, if I had a friend that was going through something, I would drop everything and just like go help them, which I know like sometimes that could be seen as a bad answer, but for me it's like, my friends matter, like I like helping people or I just like would rather help someone else even though like I might have something to do I would just rather help someone else that is in need and so the way that I kind of apply that is if someone was going through like a hard time in dental school and I'm in the class like I would do everything that I can to help them either get better or like find a way for them to improve you know like it's kind of like you don't leave anyone behind kind of thing that's the mindset that I had mm -hmm. yeah yeah um, I, I would answer this I didn't get this question, but I would answer it in the exact same way. Um, you want to show the faculty member that you are easy to get along with and you integrate well with the class mm -hmm. and that you're really advocating for your peers. You don't, they, they don't want gunners. Um, yeah. There was one faculty member here that actually said, um, I, I approached him on a Friday afternoon and I asked him to um, evaluate my wax ups mm -hmm. and he was like why are you trying to be such a gunner and I was like I'm not I just I just want to get this done I want to get this finished and he's like you should have been weeded out during the interview oh and he was totally joking he was totally joking <laughs> it, it, but that, that's the kind of demeanor we have with the yeah. faculty here though we we definitely get along yeah, there's a lot of joking going on yeah wait what's that doctor Yes, but I'm oh, gonna edit that out. Gosh. Yeah. Okay. Edit, fine. But um, Dr. <laughs> Hamilton actually has this this channel. She actually watches some of the. Oh videos, really? So she might okay. actually. She might actually. Oh cool. cool. Say, Hi, Dr. Dr. Hamilton. Hamilton. <laughs> oh okay. Um, next here. All right, my turn. How would interprofessional education play into your future career? Give me a specific example. Dang. So I did get this question. Mm -hmm. Um, the interprofessional education is a big thing in all dental schools. Actually, we just recently found out in our IP course that dental accreditation um, associations, so COA, um, yeah, COA, they, they heavily emphasize a component of interprofessional education in every single dental school program. So what that means is anywhere you go, you'll probably get a question about IP. And it's growing right now too. It's yeah. like a completely new thing um, that's currently growing a lot. And it's because nowadays, like you see a lot of healthcare profession, um, they incorporate a lot of different professionals. So in the hospital, you have a lot of like pharmacy doctors and nurses and you see that there. But for dental school specifically, even within a dental clinic, you have your hygienist, your um, assistants, but outside of that, you also refer patients to their medical PCPs, um, physicians or like even the pharmacist. So you work alongside other um, health professionals and that's why they're kind of stressing about that. Mm -hmm. And for this example, I, how I answered it was that um, I, would, I would actually work really closely with veterinary um, doctors. Yeah. And th that was kind of a weird answer for our, our interviewers to, to get. And the reason why I said that was that was because a lot of times just being a dentist, people come to you with their their pet problems, and really, it's a it's a vet med problem yeah. type of thing. Um, so, say that a dog has a toothache, they'll prob they'll probably reach out to a dentist first, and then it'll be your job to refer to you know a veterinary doctor because we're not allowed to do anything yeah. on uh, pet teeth, yeah. even though we want to. Surprisingly, but, huh? Yeah, surprisingly, it's yeah. a three year um, it's a three year specialty after vet school so yeah we can definitely assist veterinary uh, doctors as dentists in, during these root canals but other than that you can't do much but i also gave the example of not only referring those patients those dog patients to veterinary doctors i also talked about research so i have a little bit of a research background and i told them that there's a lot of uh, push for uh, dental materials to go into uh, vet med as well and you see a lot of dentists and vet, uh, veterinary doctors collaborating on developing these new materials. And we actually had a presenter yeah. who came in and she was a, what was she, a licensed prosthodontist, no, no, endodontist. endodontist. Yeah, so a person that does root canals, um, just so to speak. And um, she was talking about how she started a new company that specializes in just um, 
veterinary dental tools. So she's working with a veterinary uh, doctor who specialized, uh, did that three-year specialty, and she's now collaborating with her to you know, create this business. It's pretty awesome stuff. Um, and it, it doesn't just have to be with veterinary med, it goes into, like Tristan was saying, um, a lot of different a lot of different avenues. Yeah. It's, it's good to know some of those before you head into your interview. I didn't know that um, like vet dental like is especially a vet. I would think right? that it's like dental school and you can specialize in yeah, that's what I thought too. That's what I thought too. So before my interview, I, I searched this up and actually my um, interviewing student, this, the fourth year dental student that was interviewing me, didn't know that either. So we, we started talking about a lot of things like how dogs have braces these days and, and just, it was a good conversation. That is yeah, so, so, I did not know dogs could have braces. Yeah, like, what? It, look it up. I'll, I'll actually attach a photo in, in the description. Line. Dog no, seriously. No way. It's funny, it's really funny. Oh my God. I'll attach a photo of a cute dog with braces. That in, is in so the description. cool. Yeah. Okay. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed that. You can find more questions answered at Tristan's channel linked here, um, where we tackle ethics questions. So be sure to check that out. Thank you.